and welcome to my channel. So this is really weird for me because this is going to be my first video. Um, my name is Grace and I've wanted to start a YouTube channel oh, for as long as I can remember. I've had like little YouTube video YouTube channels from when I was like 12 but it was like me being stupid and they hardly got any views or hardly got any subscribers and I've always like sat down and filmed a YouTube video and just kept it in my camera roll like I've done it from when I was little um but that is why I've decided to just start a YouTube channel so I finally plucked up the courage to just do it um yeah I'm feeling really motivational about it which is really weird for me because I don't know I'm just really excited to finally start a YouTube channel so with this YouTube channel um content I want to film just like whatever I feel like filming so if I want to film a vlog then I'll film a vlog if I want to film a what to my school bag I'll film that if I want to film a night routine then I'll film that but like obviously I'll cater to whatever anybody else wants me to film but that is how I feel about YouTube I want it to be something that I enjoy and I want it to be something that I am excited about like I always want to be excited about it so today's video is going to be a Q&A because I thought it'd be just a great video to start off with because it gives you guys the chance to get to know me a little bit so without further ado let's get started so the first question is if you could live anywhere where would it be so i have got like a plan of action of what, how i would like to live my first couple of years of life after i've been to uni um but i don't know where i'd want to live like full term because obviously i've not traveled i've not traveled the world so i don't know what places I would like and what places I wouldn't like, what places are more touristy than places to live. Like, because if you go as a tourist to a certain place, then you're gonna see it completely different as to what it'd be like to live there. So I feel like if you really want to get a good idea of if you want to live, say, in America, or if you want to live in Spain, you need to go for at least a month, maybe, live in a house, a villa, whatever not in a hotel because then you're actually going to get an idea of what it's like in that country in that area you need to tra travel around the areas but yeah i don't i don't know i see myself going somewhere for a certain amount of time but living there full term i'm not 100 percent sure question two is would i like to travel so the answer to that is simply yes if you'd have asked me this question, I don't know, the beginning of this year, I would have said, after I finish college, so I'll be 18, um, I want to go to America and travel America for a year, go to all the states of America. But as this year has developed and coronavirus has happened and everything that's going on with America, I don't think that would be a great thing for me to do to go there on my own for a year without parents like i'll be 18 i think i just need to finish college start uni get uni over with and then go into my profession question three is how many countries have you been to so i've been to Lanzarote, Spain, Greece, Egypt, Mexico, and then I've been to Dubai. Um, Dubai's a state, so I don't know what it's called. Is it Saudi Arabia? I'm so bad with geography. So bad with geography, I don't know what it's called. I've been to Dubai, and I'm going again in May which I'm so excited about. Um, question four, would you like to have children? And if so, how many would you like? And what name do you like? 
so yes i want to have children having children is like my only really life goal that is so sad but i just want to be a mum um but i would like three children whether it be two boys and a girl or two girls and a boy don't mind i would like both genders so for a girl i absolutely love the name penelope and i also love avery um for a boy i really like elliot and oh what's the other boy name like i really struggle for boys names like i like elliot but like oh theo i really like theo something about it i just love that name question five is if you won one million pounds how would you spend it so if i won a million pound gosh that's such a lot of money i would firstly give some to my like immediate family and a few friends um and then with like the money that i get i would invest it into a property because if i was to say i'm gonna use that money to go and travel then i'm not getting anything back whereas if i invest that money i could make money off of the property which i could then use to go and travel so i think that is what i would do because either way you're going to be making money off a property um so it's yeah question six is do i have any siblings yes i do i have a younger brother who is 12 he's 13 in about two weeks the 12th of november is his birthday so he's 13 then and his name is ruby what is my dream job so i would like to be a midwife and if i'm not a midwife i definitely want to do something nursing related so if i wasn't a midwife i would probably be a pediatric nurse um i went through a phase of wanting to be a neonatal nurse thinking of my mental state i don't think i would be able to cope with that job having babies being so ill and tiny i just think it'd be such a sad job props to anybody that is a neonatal nurse anybody in the caring community they have such a difficult job they see so many difficult things like horrible things every day every week so i don't know i don't think i could be a neonatal nurse anymore because oh, it's just the babies they're just so tiny and oh it breaks my heart that, they're so, that they're, some of them are so ill the next question is what's my favorite subject at school so i'm no longer at school i am at college um so for any of you that don't know um in england we finish our high school at 16 then you go to college or sixth form or you can get a apprenticeship um and then after you turn 18 you can go get a job or you can go to university so at the moment i am at college like i said and i'm doing a btech health and social care um so really it's only it's classed as one subject i've only been there seven weeks but at my college they're doing a one week in one week out system so the year 12s are in one week and the year 13s are at home doing microsoft teams and then oh my gosh it's so heavy and raining and then the year 13s are in one week and the year 12s are at home doing um microsoft teams so yeah but at high school my favorite subject my favourite subject probably was drama. I really liked the practical side of that, but didn't like the theory at all. If you've done drama, then you'll know what I mean by that. Like, it's it's quite boring. As far as theory, I quite liked PE, biology. I liked learning about history, but I didn't like all the writing that came with it because I, some of the facts I really struggled to retain in my memory but once they were retained then it was a bit better um the next question is what gcses did you get 
Um, so what I did for my GCSEs, for my options, I picked drama, PE and history. And then at our school we had to do RE, English Literature, English Language, Maths, the three sciences. And I think that's it. So in Maths I got a grade 7. In English Language and English Literature I got a grade 7. Drama I got a grade 7. History I got a grade 7. PE I got a grade 7. Um, science I got two grade 7s and RE I got a grade 6. The next question is how old are you and when is your birthday? So my birthday is the 6th of April 2004 so I am now 16 and a half to be precise. The last question is how tall are you? So I am very very small. Um, I've always been petite. I am only probably about five foot um, so I'm very small and my best friend Molly is actually about five foot eight so you can imagine the height difference there's like literally I come up to about her shoulders but we were talking about it the other day neither of us like notice the height difference like it's only when you look at pictures really that like oh my god the height difference is actually unreal but other than that we don't notice the height difference so yeah i'm only five foot okay so that is it for my first video i really hope that you enjoyed and i hope that you come back and watch more of more of my videos um i'm so excited to finally start a youtube channel like so excited it's unreal but I'm really nervous at the same time like uh. so if you have seen this video please do make sure to give it a thumbs up um, and subscribe so yeah uh, I will see you in my next video